Oh, that's amazing. That How about a Attaboy. start? Attaboy. Is that not a start or what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> The Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship, presented by Bass Pro Shops, is the most prestigious event in the college ranks. And so far here on day one of tournament action, teams are finding a great deal of success on Pickwick Lake. Well, we did what we wanted to up to this point. I mean, we've caught fish. We got one Nate jacked big in this early this morning, so that helps a lot. Um, like I said, we got five. Uh, our other four, we need to call some of them. We definitely need to. So this morning we had a pretty good hydrilla stretch that we caught a limit pretty quick. We had a limit about 7 a.m. this morning. At name we kind of figured out this area. We caught three more big ones out of this area, so that's kind of how our day's gone. A majority of the teams have completed their five fish limit and are now looking for crucial calls that'll have them up near the top of the standings entering day two. Starting an event off on the right foot is crucial to having a shot at winning a national championship. Who can make a late day move and secure their spot near the top? Find out next as day one action continues from Florence, Alabama and Pickwick Lake. Y'all put your hands together, new leaders. Big Silly! New Big Bass of the tournament. We go straight out to the water now to check in on the School of the Year leaders, McKendry University, and Bailey Blesser and Nate Doty. They have five fish in the box for roughly 13 pounds and are looking to upgrade. I got a, a magnum spoon, just a seven inch chrome spoon. Uh, with this wind blowing, I kind of like a little bit bigger one when it's kind of flatter and they're not pulling much current. I like like a, a five or a six incher, but at the same time, we have five fish in the live well already, so that's some weight off our back, and we're looking for the big one now. Looking for the money fish, so. Gonna make our baits a little bit bigger. We'll see what happens. Got yeah, got one. Be a big one. I think it's a big one. <laughs> It might be. Oh, might not, I don't know. Nope, it's not. That's kind of cold though, I think. You think so? Yeah. Number four? Number four was the smallest, wasn't it? And cold oh. thing. I put it back in that oh. box. Good deal. This is ready. Take him on. I got him. This one has a thing on them too, though. Hey. Look, that was the difference maker, wasn't it? Sure was. Sure did. We did. It's not by much, but it helped a little. So, tell me, we need one four, four more, four pounder or something. Uh, feeling pretty darn good. You know, we're catching the limit, so I mean, what more, much more can you ask for? We're weighing something into the scale, so. I know our other guys are catching them somewhere, too. We got a lot of good guys on our team, and we've all been figuring them out this week pretty good. Seems like we're all on the same fish, but sometimes it works out like that. But we're gonna go get us a big one right now. Limits are a plenty out here on the Tennessee River today. Now we move over to Mark Harris and Cameron Rhodes from Dallas Baptist University. So far, they've got the heaviest reported limit of any team we've talked to. They estimated their five fish weigh about 17 pounds at the moment. So this morning we had a pretty good hydrilla stretch that we caught a limit pretty quick. We had a limit about 7 a.m. this morning. And no big ones though, so we kind of moved to uh, a hydrilla stretch that was closer to the main river. And that's where we caught our first big in. Uh, nothing out of that, and then we kind of figured out this area. We caught three more big ones out of this area, so that's kind of how our day's gone. Um, we're just gonna be sitting here for the remainder of it, because we know there's, there's some more big ones in here for sure. Originally, we thought we would just come in the grass and try to get a decent limit. We had a couple fish, a couple spots offshore. We thought we could have a good chance of catching a good keeper and culling up. 
Well, we started out pretty good. He caught a three pounder earlier and we haven't really caught anything that size in the grass yet. So we started to think, eh, maybe there are some bigger fish up here and we changed spots and caught one pretty quick. Then we moved up. We tried to change our angle. We came, kind of moved out a little deeper this time. And we caught our first big one about four and a half pounder. And we went out a little further and I caught another four and a half. So there's definitely some bigger fish. You just gotta take your time and drag and hope to get in front of one. Got him? He's gonna be close, I think. She's pulling so hard. What the? No, that ain't gonna help. That fish fought so hard. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Is it right? Yeah, right out of that thicker stuff. I mean, dude, my speed one was in there. Dang, I was hoping I was gonna be at the next spot. I know, dude. I know. It's not gonna help. Do a solid fish, yeah. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors, we love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus free two day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z Series, unleash next level performance. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. At the pinnacle of super high output, four-stroke outboard performance, you'll find Yamaha VMAX SHO, Yamaha's game-changing SHO technology. From exhilarating V6 models to the sleek inline fours, there's a VMAX SHO for everything from bass to bonefish. It's an extended family of four-strokes, engineered for lightweight, inspiring performance, and rock-solid reliability. Discover VMAX SHO and elevate your expectations. What are them sons of fishies up to now? Fellas, I give you the force trolling motor. It is the most powerful, the most efficient on the water. Yep. Most powerful. We're really in trouble now. And it's quiet, too. You can't swim here. What a dumb bass. <laughs> The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. So we've been fishing these shallow, these shallow river bars and uh, we've been fishing jigs and worms through this grass. We've, we've been getting a lot of bites, just coming coming by a big one is pretty hard. Come, getting, getting a big bite is pretty hard, so we're just gonna keep at it. I feel like if we can, if we can catch a bunch of fish, we're bound to run into a couple good ones. There he is, got him. Yeah. Ain't gonna help. Those marks on it. Started slow. We caught a fir first keeper we caught was a good one, and then went through four or five non keepers, and then caught uh, caught three more keepers, and two two of them were good ones, and. Uh, 
we've lost, I think, two that uh, we don't know if they were keepers or not. But we're slowly getting bites. It picked up there for a little bit, and I'm sure it'll pick up again. If we can get them fired up, then we should be okay. Might be our fifth keeper. We'll be close. That's a keeper. He ain't much, but he's a keeper. Kind of a little community hole, and basically we were just fishing this hump that came up, and we fished that. Probably caught. I mean. We caught probably 20 short fish on a football jig and a drop shot, but we were able to get uh, four fish, so like 12 pounds over there. And then uh, it started getting blown out, started having like two to three foot rollers. So we decided to kind of pull an audible and we had fished some of this grass during practice, but it was on that day when it was raining really bad. And uh, we just know it looked good. And uh, our other buddies were also fishing grass. Uh, in practice and they were doing pretty good so we decided to pull an audible here and for the last couple hours try to pull off a few. Megan? Man, I wish. Oh, oh. There we go. There you go buddy. Get the camera on you. Yeah. I don't know if it'll help. Nope. Nope. Tag short. In the grass. One new opportunity for anglers competing in ACA RAN events this season is the chance to be a part of Team Tacticam. Tacticam Fisheye joined the trail as a partner this season and is offering a great discount program and pro staff opportunity to deserving college anglers. The Fisheye camera is a great tool that captures full HD video on a continuous loop that won't miss a second of your day on the water. McKendry University angler Bailey Blesser is one of the inaugural members of Team Tacticam this season. The new uh, Fisheye camera, the thing that uh, hit me like that was awesome about it right away was literally you just turn it on and loop recording mode it's it's so easy it's two buttons i mean it's one touch control really it's got a long battery life it's waterproof up to 30 foot so like when we're out here i recorded all of practice and you know we got all that rain in practice we got all that wind in practice so we we're getting soaked and i don't have to worry about having that camera on the dash about it getting wet getting broken nothing like that because it's totally waterproof and um, the video quality is amazing. It's, it's really easy to use too with the app. You literally just turn the Wi-Fi on on the camera and it connects right to your app, right to your iPhone, right to your Android. And um, it allows you to, like when we're out on the water like this, I can literally go on my phone, I can see exactly what the camera's looking at, I can select the mode that I want to record on, I can look at content, I mean it's all in the palm of your hand. And nowadays that's what everybody wants, I mean you want that that ability to do everything right here, right now, and with Tacticam, you have that. As we head to break, we leave you with highlights from day one action captured by other members of Team Tacticam on their fisheye cameras. It doesn't matter what you fish, you need the right bait. Berkeley Power Bait, now in 54 proven shapes. From crawls and creatures, to worms, grubs, swim baits and more. And 85 sizes, and all are infused with that deadly power bait flavor. Fish bite and won't let go, giving you up to 18 times longer to set the hook. And that means you catch more fish. Yeah, it's time for a bigger tackle box. Berkeley, catch more fish. 
I got my power pole down Stuck in the mud in the bottom of the lake Sitting so still in the wind and the waves Could even be a hurricane I got my power pole down don't know their names yet, but you will. As a professional angler, you've got so many things on your mind. Any advantage that we have is key. And not only rods and reels and lines and baits, but in our clothes. And the guys at AFCO, I mean, they have something for every situation. There's nothing AFCO hasn't thought about with the fishermen in mind. It's designed for fishermen, by fishermen, for every scenario you can come to. Any fish, any water, any condition, AFCO has you covered. The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Boat US, we're with you on the water. Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. Powerful, total boat control. And by Hydrowave, Ignite a feeding frenzy. Welcome back to day one coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops on Pickwick Lake. During the heat of the summer, these Tennessee River bass pile into concentrated areas, meaning that many teams have found the same schools of fish. Oh. Well, it's with ledge fishing, fishing around all these other teams, it's really. It's amazing how we can all work together and help each other. Like I, last year we had to, there was a team down here from Indiana that didn't have a fizz and needle and it was actually on this same ledge and we went over there, let them use their fizz and needle and it was just back and forth always like being helpful to each other and it's just awesome how like the community of fishermen will just come together and help each other in whatever we need, whether we're on the same team or not, whether we're competing, just helping each other in any way. Well, the thing about, uh... These ledges, it's kind of like uh, the golden rule in the Bible, you know, do unto others, you have others do unto you. So, you know, if you want somebody to be courteous and help you out, you help them out. And it, it pays off for both of you. We got fish right there. There you go! Little guy. <laughs> he won, Kate. If I get it real close, it might look <laughs> might look a little better. Zoom in, let me zoom in. <laughs> Log arm it. Wait a minute, I was zooming in as well. <laughs> it still looks like a minnow. <laughs> No, dude, I'm way up here. You're fine. There you go. Yes, sir. Yeah. Pulled up this morning. Um, I think we were the second boat here, and uh, we fished around for a little while, probably about 30 minutes before anyone. I think someone caught one right off the bat, and we had a little flurry kick up. I lost a good one, and then we filled out our limit pretty quickly. We probably got about 13 and 13 and change in the box right now. Hey, oh, no. In the box right now, so um, just been dragging real slow. Uh, haven't been able to catch them on a whole lot. They've been acting real pressured this week. And I mean, you look around, they are pressured right now, but we've been working together. Um, these are all our friends, so I mean, we're working together. Everyone's 
I think everyone, they're close to a limit. We've got ours, they got a limit, so just trying to work together and hopefully we'll all end up in the top 10 or something. Shoulders? Shoulders. Shoulders. Shoulders? Hold up. Hang on. Big. Big. I got big. you. I got you. I'm going to get my line out of the way. Okay, I lined out of the way. Keep drag loose. You got it. Yeah, I'm fine. Keep him down. Keep him down. Keep him down. It's a good one. Uh, no, it's all. I'll turn it off when it comes close. Oh, yeah, it's this one. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let me get that drop right out there. Let me make sure my other line's Same out. Same lineup. I bet they're moving. Same lineup? Yeah. Start to fire again. It's time for our last break in the show. On the other side, we make our way back to McFarland Park to weigh in some fish and see just how well these anglers have fared on day one. Stay close. You've been waiting all week for this, and Sunline wants to make sure you're ready for it with bulk spools of all your favorite fishing lines. Oh, so fun. Bulk up with Sunline. From the backwoods to the backyard, Sawyer's Permethrin odorless insect repellent repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and other harmful insects. And with just one application lasting for up to six weeks, you can enjoy the outdoors as much as we do. <laughs> Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. guy that's always bringing in big ones from offshore, he's got secret lures. That guy that can pull out a spinning rod and start catching them when you can't buy a bite, he's got secret lures. What about that guy that can follow you down the bank and catch what you left behind? He's got secret lures. Oh, yeah, good one. If you are ready to be that guy, get your secret lures today at secretlures.com. The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Eagle Claw Trocar, the world's sharpest fish hook. Sunline America, the strength to guarantee your confidence. And by Secret Lures, the secret is out. Welcome back to day one coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. The title sponsor of this championship event, Boat US, works diligently to make this one of the top notch events every year. One way in which they do so is by offering free towing services to all participants in the event. The athletes, the fishermen do not need to worry about paying for this service for the two days of the tournament. On day one alone, the Boat US crew has fielded dozens of calls and provided towing services to anglers experiencing a wide array of issues. From electrical malfunctions, leaks, engine problems, or even running out of gas, Boat US provides peace of mind for boaters. For one low fee, Boat US offers annual memberships for anglers to have access to these services year round. Normally, for a freshwater membership, it's an $85 annual fee. But for $85 a year, a member does not have to pay for any service that they may require or assistance on freshwater. Back out to McFarland Park. Teams are setting the bar high on this first day of competition. 18-33, 18-33. Had a good day out there today, 14-92. This is going to put you in like third place, I believe. 16-84. Looking good, Dallas Baptist, Mark and Cameron. All right, before you go, all they got away is 16-33. Let's see if you can do it. Can you do it? Can you? 
I believe so. How about go put your hands together, 1908. Yes, sir. Way to go. Mark Harris and Cameron Rhodes from DBU, who we caught up with on the water earlier in the day, managed to cull up to a five bass limit weighing 19.08 pounds. So uh, we started out this morning fishing shallow and some hydrilla. We found a good stretch in practice. I uh, got a limit by about 7 a.m. So uh, we used the rest of the day to cull, moved off to a different spot. And uh, we ended up finding a little new something today and had some bigger fish in it, so. Game plan tomorrow is go where we caught the big fish. We at, where we caught our big fish today, we didn't start out with. We fished only there for two and a half, three hours. So we're going to try to spend more time there tomorrow. Uh, if that doesn't work out, we still have uh, another plan B to go to. I'm pretty sure we can still catch a limit if some things go bad. But our morning, our morning bite was a little bit better, so this the spot that we're going to start in where we caught the big fish, hopefully we can get some more big fish fired up early in the morning. So that would be ideal. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Okay, Bump Man says we may have a new leader from Bryan College. We got Bailey and Preston coming up here. All right, Preston, we need a 20 pounds. 1982, so close to busting that 20, you still took the lead. Bailey Fain and Preston Kendrick from Bryan College take over the day one lead with 19.82 pounds. The two veteran college anglers are ecstatic with their day one limit. It was, a, it was a terrible practice for us, and we just pulled up on a spot this morning, and the good Lord blessed us. I mean, it, that's the only thing you can say, and we may go there tomorrow, and we may not get a bite. I mean, it, it's just one of them deals. Yeah, most of them, uh, we had a limit by about 8 o'clock, and uh, we uh, called one time since then, I believe. It was a grind the rest of the day. So, yeah, but all those first, that first limit, it was by 8 o'clock. And here's a look at the top 10 standings following day one weigh-in. Fane and Kendrick from Bryan College hold on to that number one spot. Harrison Rhodes from Dallas Baptist are in second with just over 19 pounds. And the University of Montevallo duo of James Willoughby and Chance Swartz is in third with 18.33 pounds. And that will do it for day one coverage on the next episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. A national champion will be crowned. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state of the art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere a fishing rod that's feather light extremely sensitive yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Denali Rods, tournament tested and tournament tough. You know, when I look at the tournaments I've won, probably four or five of the boats that I've won have been on a tube. But I had completely gotten away from flipping a tube because nobody, nobody made one soft enough. Big Bite has come with this new tour series of baits. The thing that's probably the most unique is when you look at that bait, the salt just rolls out of it. And to me, that is the reason a fish bites a tube and hangs on to it. This isn't one of those, let's go out and catch some smallmouth tube. This is a let's get it done tube. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard. We play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. If you crave exciting adventure stories and love hearing about the latest tips and tricks to use in the field and out on the water, Outdoor Action TV is the channel for you. Thrilling content available for streaming 24-7 from any of your favorite devices. Catch all of your favorite shows like Americana Outdoors, Fisherman's Handbook, Whitetail Diaries, and more. No subscriptions necessary. Nice!
available for streaming and digital download across these platforms.